don't know. What do you reckon? Keep it simple. Keep it. Yeah. I should keep it simple, shouldn't I? Yeah. Maybe just do something really simple. And not difficult. Yeah. Okay. I'll do that then. After the nightmare of animating plasticine, I thought I'd just keep it simple and do a small diorama. Nothing taxing or difficult. Simple. And I've watched other YouTubers make cargo containers for tabletop gaming and thought to myself, I could build that. So I did. So I reached into my box of off-cut foam board and found some 2 mil foam board that I cut down to the appropriate size and hot glued them all together to give me a sturdy starting point. Make sure that the hot glue gun isn't set too hot otherwise it's just going to burn straight through that foam board. Once you've got the shape of the container, grab yourself some um, corrugated craft uh, board and um, all I did was just trace the outline of the container I built and then just cut each panel to size and again hot glued it into place. Nothing taxing, nothing difficult, simple. And what I did while I was pressing this um, craft board uh, onto the uh, the container was I just pressed certain ridges in so it looked like it had been dented during transit just to give it that more of a um, lived in look So once the last panel was in place and cut down to uh, size, it was then on to adding the edges, which was, again, I used 5mm strips of card and just edged the container to hide the imperfections of my build. Once all the edging was done, I then started to mark out where I wanted to put the bars for the uh, front doors. Using some leftover 5mm um, strip of card, I cut them into like a triangle shape and put them as the hinges either side of the container. So while I was sticking the hinges on, I was thinking what I could use for the container uh, bars. Uh, I looked at uh, garden wire, but that was either too thin, too thick, or it had slight imperfections in the straightness and just didn't look correct on the container. Now I'm not saying I'm the first person ever to use pasta um, for uh, a build but I stumbled across this idea after we were eating um, dinner that night and uh, we had uh, spaghetti bolognese and it was one of those light bulb moments uh, you sometimes get in the oddest of places 
So after dinner, I quickly grabbed some pasta, went back out to the man shed and stuck them onto my container. And to my complete joy, they were the correct size and shape. So it's probably at this point in the video where you're thinking that Aaron fellow he's gone a bit mad using spaghetti you could be right but this stuff is really really good and snaps off and you can use it for a variety of things and that's why I used it for my cargo container After making a quick and simple uh, stencil, I used some Pritt stick uh, to stick that onto the container. I used the Pritt stick simply because it would give me enough time to mess around and paint the stencil on and allow me to easily peel it off without taking any of the paint off with it. I then decided to use the USB airbrush that I'm beginning to love to spray the letters onto the container and then pulled off the stencil to reveal the letters. So once the stencil was off, I just took away some of the excess of the uh, Pritt stick glue, uh, fought off the container, and then it was ready for uh, some graffiti and random numbers as usual. Now I had an email sent to me by uh, one of my followers and uh, he sent me a challenge uh, and he asked me if I could get the word pickle into one of my videos. So after thinking long and hard and going through different videos trying to put the word pickle into the video this build allowed me to do such thing so challenge was accepted and challenge was complete so if anybody else wants to send me a random word I've got to try and get into one of my videos then just email me I'm up for the challenge I added some graffiti signs I had laying around the bottom of my drawer and secured them into place using pigment fixer which isn't supposed to be for that but I like to experiment and it did work to my surprise for weathering I'd spotted this cheap baby sponge that had lots of little tiny holes and uh, gaps in it uh, cut a piece off and dabbed it into some uh, orange acrylic and then just dabbed it all over the container After that I just used some red pigment powder and just randomly went over the container just to give it some more of a rusty dusty look. I also used some light pigment powder just to uh, break up the colours a little bit. And then once that was done, last but not least, I painted the bar silver. I think the trick to weathering is you just do what you feel looks right. There, there is no set pattern to how to weather. You just go with your gut and just keep going.
base, it was a scrap piece of XPS foam um, that I painted with a mixture of my own, which was Mod Podge, black paint and tiny scenic stones for a uh, little bit of texture. Then went over that with just black acrylic and then broke out the air gun again and just sprayed on a grey um, top coat. So all that was dry, I just hit it with a dry brush of white just to highlight some of the, uh, the edges and the uh, stonework in the paint, glued it down onto the base and then it was time to add the grass. Unfortunately I don't have one of those fancy expensive grass applicators so I just threw it on with the uh, the old finger technique just to give it um, a little bit of uh, definition and texture. Added some grass onto the top and the sides of the container and that was it done and dusted. And that was my take on building a simple cargo container. Now if you like what you saw and you're not subscribed, please uh, please do so. And um, the link in the description, uh, I've put uh, some people I follow. So check them out and tell them I sent you. And until next time, keep scratching that build everybody. Thanks for watching.